Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cool Banker Dan Harper Realtors. Well, once again, I'm coming to you from the community of Meyer Ranch, New Braunfels, Texas. The reason I'm out here is because I got a client that's in Spain, but looking to move to the area, and this community might be a good fit for her. The house behind me is built by Brightland Homes, formerly Guillen. This is a spec home. It's move-in ready right now as of December 2023. So yeah, let's go check it out. This is a two-story home, four bedroom, three and a half bath. The square footage is 2938. This is in the newer section, the back part of Meyer Ranch. Um, the HOA fees here are $600 a year. Not so bad. Uh, hopefully you've seen my motorcycle tour. I'm gonna put that up in the corner right now. And uh, give you a tour of what the neighborhood looks like, um, the amenities and all that other good stuff. Anyways, I do like this community. Again, I have them ranked as mid-level builder, so you are gonna get a more square footage for the dollar, but it's not gonna be, I'm sorry, I'm always honest, uh, Perry, Chessmar, uh, they build a little more uh, polished home, but if you're looking for a square footage for price, definitely Gein's my favorite mid-level builder. All right, let's head on inside. All right, this is a beautiful home. Uh, there's some niceties to it, especially if you've got a larger family. And if you haven't done so already, hit that like button. It really does help out a lot. They've got the luxury vinyl planks flooring. Right when you come in, you do have your office right up front. And then you come around the corner and this is gonna be your first powder room. Little coat closet there. Your laundry room's gonna be uh, the next room down the road. A little hanging space. All right, now we're coming into the main living space. You're also gonna have your uh, breakfast nook, formal dining room table section right here. You got the two lights above, kind of showing where that's at. And then your kitchen space. Not the biggest of islands, but it's definitely a nice island. Frigidaire appliances, they got their gallery series. This is a gas community, so you do have a uh, four burner cooktop. Kind of normal uh, corner pantry space. They do have the trash cans. I got a little pull out drawer here for that, kind of nice. They do have a single basin sink. Now this home is available right now. Um, they do have some really nice discounts because remember before I mentioned this is December. So this move, house is move-in ready. So these builders really are desperate to get these moved. There's been some pretty good price cuts on this house. Let me walk back over to my cheat sheet here because I set it down. The current asking price for this house is 467 for this house, 4699. So it just rounds up to 467. But yeah, the builder definitely wants to get this house moved. They've had it started off like at around 550 when it was during the build process. No one bought it during the build process. Now it's done and they want to get this house moved. Uh, this is on a 45 foot lot, so definitely not the widest of lots, but you saw in the beginning, it's got a very long driveway up front, nice oak trees in the back that you can see, but they're not taking up space on your land. So that's kind of nice to have. Decent sized, walk back here. Oops, I just watered that lawn. Uh, patio space here. So yeah, definitely not a bad setup, especially if you wanted to put another tree or so over on that side, kind of blocking the view of the house, but I do love having these oak trees back there. All right, now I'm gonna save the master bedroom for last, which is uh, back this way, so uh, stay tuned for that. I do like that they have this pre-wired. Um, they got all the cables and stuff pre-wired for you so you don't have to worry about doing that after you move in. But yeah, let's head up these stairs and show you the upstairs spot. Um, might be perfect for those folks with a, a larger family.
All right, you got really big game room space up here or just a loft area. I mean, you can really do whatever you want to with this space. I really like it a lot. Got a little closet here. If you wanted to put some games or whatever you want to store in there. But there's even more space. This room here is designed to have a little movie theater type setup in it. You can see on the walls, it's got the cables run through. Well, those cables run all the way through and up to this location for a projector. I've got a projector in my house and I absolutely love it. The bulbs have gotten so cheap over the years. I use mine as my primary TV now. But you do have it pre-wired for speakers, for like your side speakers and rear speakers back here. So very nice that it's already done. All right, we got, this is gonna be your attic space. So you can get an idea of the insulation they put in here, how they've got it framed. And yes, you can put some boards in here and use this as a Christmas decorations, but they never want you to put uh, too heavy of stuff back in here. Not really quite designed for that. All right, let's check out these extra bedrooms. All right, the first one, it's gonna have its own bathroom in the bedroom. So it's really kind of geared for, if you've got longer term guests or an older child, they can have their own private bathroom all to themselves. Very nice. These are, they're not, well, let me check the doors downstairs. You're very seldom gonna see eight foot doors upstairs. But yeah, this is the room. And the closet space for this room. So you got two layers up here, one for like a long dress type setup. So hopefully that would work out for my client. And if my client passes on this house, of course, I'm gonna make this video public. And anybody else that wants to move on this house, I would recommend moving pretty quickly. Um, another good size bedroom here. and the same closet setup. All right, these two bedrooms over on this kind of corner space will share one bathroom. Okay, that looks like a little bit different closet. And it is. So a little different closet space in this room. We have pretty decent sized rooms. I like the fact that they've got uh, two windows. I'm gonna window on each wall. Just kind of look out the windows, kind of see a little bit more what this neighborhood looks like. There you go. It is a gorgeous day in Texas right now. Okay, it shows you the long driveway. And these are another view of the homes in this cul-de-sac. It's always nice living in a cul-de-sac. I live on a cul-de-sac and you just kind of don't have to worry so much about traffic, especially if you've got little ones. All right, this would be a bathroom that can be shared and uh, your toilet, tub shower combo, and it's got a door right there that can be closed in case another kiddo wants to brush their teeth at the same time someone's taking a shower. All right, let's head on downstairs and uh, let me show you off that master bedroom. I do like the fact that they got the wrought iron and the dark colors there that really does look nice on these stairs. All right, you got the laundry room right in front of us. All right, now we're off to the master bedroom. I went ahead and left the door open because it is gorgeous. It's about 67 degrees outside, sunny. I'm so glad I rode my motorcycle today. All right, here is the master bedroom. Got some nice uh, higher lights that can allow more light in, but you can still put your bed right there. But it's a really good sized bedroom. But no, these are not eight foot doors. These are gonna be your kind of standard doors. And that's what kind of separates this as a mid-level builder. And nothing wrong with mid-level builders. You do get more square footage for price. This is Gian slash Brightland Homes. They've been around for a long time. But they have nice cabinets, a good size shower space right here. 
no tub in the master bedroom, people are like 50-50 on that, where they want a shower or a tub. The water closet with a door. And then the master bedroom closet, which actually goes underneath the uh, staircase a little bit. There's your shoe rack. And a little bonus storage spot underneath the stairs. Pretty slick. And this is going to be your box where all of your... Uh, you can put your modem, all your cables and stuff will come right into there. So you have one smart hub for the house. All right. Well, this is going to be, uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this house. It is available right now and getting this much square footage for this price is a pretty nice good deal. All right. I'm going to kind of wrap up tour of this Brightland home. This is the Capri plan, just over 2,900 square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half bath in the community of Myra Ranch, New Braunfels, Texas. I love the location of this community. We've got easy access to everything in the Texas Hill Country, including New Braunfels. The HEB grocery store, like I mentioned, if you saw my motorcycle tour, is only about an eight minute drive from here. So much stuff fun is at your fingertips in this community. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think of this house and uh, I'll talk to you soon. All right, oh, by the way, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and make sure you share these videos with friends and family. All right, take care now, bye.